Hi everybody, Paul Richards here, and in this video series we've been talking about micro streaming and we've gotten to the point where we're talking about knowing your graphics card, which is so important for this type of live streaming event. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So here I am in our virtual set here, and uh, virtual sets, like I've mentioned before, great places to do your micro streaming. Um, they, they make for amazing, uh, you know, they just look good. They make it um, look like really professional. And let's just jump right into this here. So um, as part of this video series, we've talked about micro streaming. We talked about knowing your computer, knowing your graphics card. Next, we're going to talk about building your channel. And then we've got some streaming tips, which I might dig into a little bit in this video, about uh, sending a single stream to a provider like joycaster.co or restream.io and um, sending that one stream to like eight different CDNs. So it's a really great way to do that. So part of knowing your computer is knowing your graphics card and using your graphics card. So the first thing you want to do, if you've never even thought about this yet, is install and update your drivers at NVIDIA.com if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, NVIDIA is really the industry's most favorite, most popular um, graphics card and you want to go there and just double check you've got the latest and greatest uh, drivers and software. Once you have that you will have an NVIDIA control panel which you can get to from just right clicking your desktop in Windows and uh, there should be an NVIDIA control panel option to get into. Uh, if you don't see that option then you don't have the latest drivers and you haven't installed it properly. Um, with live streaming, we're always talking about CPU usage. You know, do you have a, a good enough CPU to do everything that you want to? Uh, especially if you're streaming and recording and maybe doing an external webcam for Blab or something like that. So by optimizing your CPU by using your GPU. So if you use your graphics card, it's going to take processing off your CPU. So there's a couple ways to make sure that you're doing this right. One is you can run with your graphics card. Oh, actually, you know what? I need to show this again. I need to show the control panel. So in this control panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this full screen. Um, this control panel uh, allows you to set by default which um, programs you want to run by, uh, with your high performance graphics card. So you might want you want to go in here for sure and say, all right, I want vMix or Wirecast or OBS or XSplit to run. Uh, with my graphics card by default. So that's extremely important. Uh, so that way you do it once and you never have to worry about doing that again. Um, but if you, um, just to be double safe, you can also right click the application that you want to use and then at the top in Windows 10, it will say uh, uh, run with graphics processor and you can choose either the integrated one, which you don't want, or the high performance NVIDIA graphics card, which is what you're looking for. So that's extremely important, and you can even go a step further in vMix, and I'm pretty sure you can do it in other applications as well, to tell the application itself that you want to run all the graphics, graphic processing on the NVIDIA graphics card. Now, I know it's in, in uh, vMix in the settings area. I don't know um, if, if it's everywhere else. Um, so for example, here's vMix. If I go to settings, um, you can see here that uh, I, hopefully that's coming out. There's a in the settings area. There's a performance section where you can put your graphics card information there. So that is that. Um, that's pretty much everything. Um, you really want to do that. Um, I'm going to really quickly show you guys um, Joycaster.io. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in our next video. Um, but I really think it's cool. It's something that I'm super excited about. Um, and what this is, is I'm going to log into my Joycaster account. And I'm going to skip the tutorial because I just want to show you guys what this looks like. This is the Joycaster account here. So up here in uh, the top, that would be your, your video that you're sending Joycaster. And then over here, you can select to send it to YouTube, to Twitch, to Hitbox, to StreamUp. Beam Pro, Daily Motion, all the different CDNs here, even custom RTMP streams, and it'll send up to eight streams for you. So it's really, really cool stuff. Um, I would highly recommend looking into it uh, using that software. We're going to dig more into it in our, in our streaming tips video. But until then, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you felt like this was helpful. We've got free virtual sets below, and of course, all of our playlists that are always available. Thanks, guys.